rough story here. We are back with a Fox News alert. An investigation now underway after a grisly discovery. At least nine illegal immigrants found dead crammed inside a sweltering truck in what is believed to be a human smuggling attempt gone wrong. Kelly Wright joins us now with more on what exactly this means for our border security. Kelly. Well, good morning. So far, one man has been arrested and more could soon be in cuffs. It's unclear if James Matthew Bradley is the driver of the truck, but he will be in federal court today as the investigation intensifies to find others who may have been involved in this horrible crime of human trafficking. Several minors are among the nine people who died from heat-related issues inside this tractor trailer in San Antonio, Texas. 17 people rescued from the trailer are considered to be in life-threatening conditions. Condition. All of them were among nearly 40 immigrants found crammed inside the truck in 100 degree plus heat with no air conditioning and no water. Some of those found inside included Guatemalans and Mexican nationals. During a vigil for the victims at a church in San Antonio, the emotion swayed from sadness to anger. This is a direct result of the criminalization of immigrants and militarization of the border. In wake of the gruesome discovery, Texas Lieutenant Governor Dan Patrick taking to Facebook to highlight the importance of cracking down on sanctuary cities, writing in part, sanctuary cities entice people to believe they can come to America and Texas and live outside the law. Sanctuary cities also enable human smugglers and cartels. DHS Secretary John Kelly has vowed to root out these smugglers and bring them all to justice. Rob? Yeah, that's interesting there. Okay, Kelly, thanks so much. Thanks, Kelly.